ABJ, I'm Katie. Welcome to Bowling Junior High School Tribute to Our Veterans. Please stand for the presentation of the Colors by the Bowling Green High School, or OTC. We remind you to remain standing until the Colors have been retired and for the performance of our national anthem by Bowling Green Junior High School strength. For March. Uh, Now you may be seated. The word patriotism means love for or devotion to one's country. Patriotism can mean different things to everybody. Some people may not ever think about what the word patriotism means, but this is what I think it is. To me, patriotism means serving, loyalty, and being supportive to your country. Patriotism can be shown in many ways, small ways, or big ways. For example, you could wear red, white, and blue on the 4th of July, saying the Pledge of Allegiance, have a flag waving in your yard, or serving, serving in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, or the most recent, and in my opinion, the most fun, the Space Force. My grandfather was in the Army, and he drove tanks. Being in the Army isn't as easy as it seems. It takes dedication, commitment, and a huge sacrifice. The act of patriotism and feeling patriotic are things which will make for a stronger nation. Not only will you be able to relate well to others in your shared love for this country, but the more individuals who express their patriotic feelings, the stronger our country will be as a whole. This is basically saying that the more patriotic people are, the more our country will seem like a whole, because we will be doing something for the greater good. During times like these, when there is a lot of social and political unrest, it is more important now than ever to be patriotic, because there is nothing more patriotic than seeing flaws in your country and feeling a sense of responsibility to help fix it. In conclusion, I think that one of the most important parts of being an American citizen is showing a love and respect for your country and having a sense of pride in all the good that comes with being an American and all of the progress that continues to be made. Shout, cows are marching all about, and those kids' hearts are rolling along. For it's high.
what patriotism means to me. To me, patriotism is the love and loyalty to my country and the men and women who have fought for everyone's right to choose their own path. Our veterans and our current military have given so much to our country. I do not know many veterans or current military personnel, but after hearing my family talk about the veterans that are in my family, I think I understand some of the sacrifices they made to protect this country and all of the future generations to come. In my family, I have several veterans, which include my great-grandfather, my great-uncle, and my second cousin. My great-grandfather was a Marine in World War II. His rank was a sergeant drill instructor, and he was stationed in Australia and completed many reconnaissance missions in the Micronesia region in the Western Pacific Ocean. My great-uncle was a sergeant in the Air Force and was in the Vietnam War. He flew in and out of some of the most dangerous areas of Vietnam. My cousin, who was a major in the Air Force, he flew an F-15E and flew many bombing missions in the Desert Storm and the war with Iraq. There are a lot of ways that people can show patriotism, like respecting our flag and standing when the national anthem is played, and exercising the right to vote. But to me, and the most patriotic thing I can do is to thank our military, current and past, for protecting me, you, and this great country that we live in. I'm not sure if I'll ever join the military, but I will always have respect for the men and women who do join and leave their families and put their lives in danger for me every day. Please join me in thanking all of our veterans and military for showing us what patriotism really is. So today is Veterans Day, and because I am a Marine veteran, uh, Mrs. Pollard has asked me to uh, talk a little bit about celebrating Veterans Day. So every 11th of November, we celebrate an American holiday, Veterans Day. This day is celebrated to honor the military veterans for their contributions and loyalty to our country. Armistice Day came to be on the 11th of November, 1918, when the Germans signed the armistice to mark the end of the First World War. Later, and interestingly enough, it was an Emporia, Kansas shop owner who turned Armistice Day into Veterans Day. In 1953, Al King suggested that Armistice Day should be replaced by All Veterans Day. With members of the local Board of Education, Al approached the Emporia Chamber of Commerce to campaign for its change. Eventually, a bill was uh, put forward to the United States Congress, and in May of 1954, President Dwight Eisenhower made the bill into a law. In that same year, Armistice Day was officially replaced by Veterans Day. Every November, every November then, from that first Veterans Day in 1954, the nation comes together to remember and honor the service and sacrifices of our veterans. Veterans Day means many things to many people. For me, it's a time to reflect on and honor the sacrifices of those I served with. It is also a time to pay homage to those currently serving. Perhaps even more importantly, a time for us to salute those who made the ultimate sac sacrifice. While I served in the Marine Corps, Veterans Day was just another day. Until I became a Marine veteran, did I begin to experience fully what it meant to be a veteran. I now can truly appreciate that day of rest, honoring my service as a Marine. On that day, I often call those I served with previously to see how they are doing and to remember and laugh about our escapades and mourn those who are no longer with us. The American flag, every time I see it and every time it waves, has special meaning. It invokes great pride in knowing that I, like veterans before me, had a part in laying the foundation of freedom and liberty that makes our country the greatest country in the world. So, on November 11th, if you see someone wearing a hat or a jacket signifying their service in our military, Stop and pause long enough to thank that veteran for his or her service to our country. It is the patriotic thing to do, and it will put a smile on their face and make you feel good that you did. My uncle Kenneth Gaylor served the Army from October 15, 1985 to 1992. Here's my definition of what patriotism means to me. He told me that he always wanted to serve the Army ever since a little boy. It was like his childhood dream. He used to tell me stories about him being in the Army. Like one of his stories he shared with 
with him being in the Gulf War. In 1989, while being on the plane in the war, the enemy was shooting at the plane. Sadly, the plane started rocking and some people were injured severely um, and had to turn the plane around. He told me that some of the soldiers were complaining about feeling ill. There was an um, illness spreading around called the Gulf War Syndrome. The soldiers who had served for four years had the option to leave and go home then take a payment. I enjoyed hearing his stories and love hearing about the events. The Army is one of the oldest and longest lasting institutions in America. It's been around for 243 years and with the United States spreading more on the military than eight the eight highest spending countries combined. It's not going anywhere anytime soon and I'm happy for that actually. Infantry soldier was his primary MOS, heavy construction equipment mechanic, 62B, aka 62 Bravo, was his job title. In 1985, he had a rough childhood and didn't want to be in the streets doing bad things, so he joined the military to better himself, and I'm very proud. These were his words. In, mil in the military, we were taught teamwork. We also were an oath to protect the United States from both foreign and domestic enemies. As a young man, I enjoyed being around my fellow comrades of all colors, creeds from many places of the United States and other nations. We united as one and obeyed the orders from the commander and chief president of the United States. We, the um, military had its ups and downs, just like any other job. We have had our disagreements amongst each other, but when it was time to defend the country, we became one. My uncle left the military at October 19, 1992, and still has a great part in the military. I chose to write about him because he is my idol and my definition of patriotism. I want to be like him maybe one day. The Remembrance Day symbolism of the poppy started with a poem written by a World War I brigade surgeon who was struck by the sight of red flowers growing on a ravaged battlefield. People who wore paper poppies to honor the loss in World War I, but the flowers have since been to honor the remember all to remember all the veterans lost in the war.
Veterans Day, or our Day of Remembrance, brings about different emotions depending on who you are. However, as we think about Veterans Day, we think about a day to renew and deepen our patriotism. On this day, we think of ways to honor our brave men and women who have served our military and acknowledge the ultimate sacrifice so many have made. It is indeed a great day. However, the question now becomes, how do we continue to show our patriotism once Veterans Day has passed? And what exactly does it mean to be patriotic in 2020? I am drawn to President Kennedy's statement. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. So what can patriotic citizens do for this country regardless of your age, whether you're male or female, or whether you're rich or poor? Patriotic citizens can continue to support the values set forth in our Constitution, helping to ensure that everybody, regardless of gender, race, religion, or where you were born, has the opportunity to enjoy the democratic freedoms of our nation. We must work not just for ourselves, but for the good of all, understanding that equality means everybody and not just a chosen few. Patriotic citizens should be willing to give and sacrifice to support and defend our states so that we don't lose sight of our nation's character. Patriotic citizens must never let go of the multiculturalism that informed the birth of this great country and must stand up for the views and people who are unlike ourselves because diversity is the greatest American characteristic. Patriotic Patriotic citizens must show up daily to fulfill the duty of standing in the face of and fighting injustice. Therefore, when celebrating Veterans Day and renewing our commitment to being patriotic, to ensure that our men and women didn't die in vain, let's truly consider the meaning of patriotism. Let's not think of who it is or who it isn't. This divides us rather than brings us together. Rather, let's realize we all have the ability to be patriotic through our actions. For it is through our actions, our patriot acts, that we display patriotism through our service and responsibility, where each of us resolve to pitch in and look after each other to ensure that we all are afforded life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This concludes our Veterans Day video tribute. Thank you so much for tuning in.